Hello Scatterventures and welcome to a new video. In this episode we'll be overclocking the Core i7-6950X, a 10-core overclockable monster from Intel. We'll be overclocking the CPU core, the CPU ring, the memory, tryout XMP and we're also having a look at the MSI Game Boost functionality. Alongside the CPU we'll be using the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32GB of D-Scale Trident Z memory and the MSI GeForce GTX 1080 Seahawk graphics card. The total system cost of this system is about 2150 US dollar. All the links to the hardware are in the description below. Let's get going. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First, for the actual overclocking, we'll be going into the motherboard BIOS to adjust all the settings. And then in the operating system, we'll be using four benchmarks. Intel XTU, HWBOT X265 4K encoding, F1 2015 game benchmark and the PC Mark 8 creative workload. You can find all the benchmarks and their download links in the description below. To overclock the CPU ring frequency, we leave the easy mode and go to the advanced menus by pressing F7. Under the advanced mode, we go to the OC menu. Here, we increase the ring ratio to 35 and increase the CPU ring voltage to 1.2 volts. After this, we simply save our settings by pressing F10 and go into the operating system. We've overclocked the CPU ring frequency to 3.5 GHz. Let's have a look at the performance results. Keep in mind that measuring the performance is a vital part of the overclocking process. After all, we need to find out how much faster we are after overclocking. In Intel XTU, we have a performance increase of 3%. In HROT X265 4K encoding, we have a performance increase of 1%. In F1 2015, we have a performance increase of 4%. In the PC Mark 8 Creative Workload, we have a performance increase of 1%. That concludes our overclocking adventure with the Core i7-6950X 10-core beast of a processor. For this, uh, for this video, we used the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32GB of G-Skill Trident Z memory and somewhat missing the 1080 Seahawk graphics card, also from MSI. If you like this video and you want to see more of this kind of uh, content, be sure to give it a like, uh, also subscribe to the channel. If you think that this system was already fast enough to begin with, there's a dislike button as well. You can find links to both the hardware and the benchmark tools and the overclocking tools in the description below. Thanks for watching.